Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's going to be a short video for those of you who uh, would like to connect your Comcast X1 Xfinity cable box to uh, OPPO UDP 203. Now, before I go any further, it is very important that you understand that there are no 12-bit television sets out there. They don't exist. I understand that, and I'm pretty sure you guys understand that. What we're talking about here, it's a compression, or if you will, quote-unquote, fake 12-bit compression, All right? And uh, I will explain this to you, best of my knowledge. What's going on here, it's a couple of things. The source, it's being outputted with 444 8-bit chroma upsampling. Okay, it's an 8-bit chroma up sampling from Comcast. That's the source. 1080p, 60 hertz, being upscaled. Okay, that's the source right here. This is a 1080p, 60 hertz, 444, 8-bit, 16 by 9 chroma. That's the source coming from the uh, X1 Comcast Xfinity. And what you're looking at here, it's the uh, Blade Runner 2049. Now, this is the source that's being connected to a OPPO UDP 203. And this is the best that you can get currently from Comcast, okay? Now, this source, where well, you see my finger, this source that's being outputted and then being passed through here to a main HDMI input, HTCP 2.2 on the uh, OPPO UDP 203, it's being compressed from 8-bit to 12-bit, okay, with 444 chroma upsampling. Now, what this is going to do is give you a little bit better color, tiny little bit better color, and you're going to have a hard time spotting that, but if you get close to a TV, and if you compare the two, the only way I can do this is compare, I would have to have two of these boxes, two television sets, equal television sets, and compare them, one not being... Uh, compressed and one being compressed that would be the only way you could notice little tiny details like in the face the redness and all that okay but still i personally believe this is the benefit of connecting your comcast xfinity cable box and then upscaling it through the oppo udp 203 you're only going to get much better coloring there a little bit better quality okay it's not going to be a drastic quality but it's gonna be a little bit better. And here, I'm gonna play the movie just so you know, I'm using the Xfinity, there it is right there, is the, you know, the remote control. And I'll press play really quick. And here, you will see it in a minute. And it looks great, it really does. I do notice that uh, the image is a little bit sharper and the quality on the color, see this compression, this 12-bit compression from 8-bit, it's trying to compress that color, you know, so you get a little bit tiny, little bit better color detail here, okay, mm -hmm. not like a huge margin of, of a detail, but definitely, nonetheless, there is uh, a little bit better compression here, all right, on the movie. Now, obviously, this will look much better on a 4K HDR, but this is for those of you who are planning on connecting your uh, Comcast X1 box to a OPPO UDP 203, all right? Now, you did notice a little bit of slowdown, did you? Uh, how it pauses and, and moves, that's because uh, it's trying to... to uh, utilize that compression all right it's trying to utilize that compression 30 meters to max all right let me uh, pause this right here really quick what it's doing is trying to utilize that compression into the uh, 8-bit 444 to a main source of upscale to 12-bit compression on the uh, OPPO UDP 203, okay? 
what I'm trying to say here, doing it this way, you're going to get a little bit better quality, tiny little bit better chroma upsampling than as if you were just to simply connect it directly to your TV. Okay. And another benefit of doing it this way, you can also use a... Um, let me uh, exit out of this. Let me turn this off. Where's the... Uh, oh, there it is right here. I'm using my Oppo remote. You can also choose this if you want. Hold on a second. Let's go to a resolution. I want to click resolution here really quick. Uh, you can choose also custom if you want. If you use custom, that'll also give you some options as well. That'll give you the options to use a, for example, the ability hold on a second that would also give you the option to automatically chroma upsample uh, this uh, feed this video but honestly I would just leave it on a direct source because direct source will give you that chroma upsampling that you want you see now See what happened now? Now it went to the 8-bit. Now it went to the 8-bit. So now you're getting that automatic 8-bit. Okay? And then when I switch it to my custom resolution, my uh, direct source, source direct is going to go back to a 12-bit. Look what happens. It's going to go back to a 12-bit. And you get a little bit better coloring, okay? This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. You are going to get, see, now it's a 12-bit chroma upsampling. Maybe I can play this movie a little bit. Uh, I don't care if I, if I get blocked. Uh, I'm not going to make money out of this video. I'm just doing this to help you guys out. Hold on. Okay, see, now it's trying to chroma upsample this. And it's having a difficult time. So what I'll need to do is I'll have to go ahead... And uh, power this off. And what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna power this off and I'm gonna power it back on and then I'm gonna go ahead and use that same chroma upsampling. So I'm gonna turn it back on and then I'm gonna switch back to a it's going to automatically read my Blu-ray movie, okay? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch here to my HDMI in. And we're going to read this chroma upsampling right now to 12-bit from a, a source direct. You see? Now it's a, it's a direct source. Let's click on it. It's still 12-bit. It's just better, guys. What I'm trying to tell you is this is the best way for you to experience uh, this from Comcast. You know, just your Comcast look a little bit better this way than opposite of you just directly connecting it to your TV. All right. And I know this is not a true 12 bit, you know. I, but this chroma upsampling gives you a little bit better color, okay? It gives you that little better vivid coloring that you want. And why wouldn't you want to watch your HBO or your Showtime stars? Why wouldn't you want to watch it like on a uh, better chroma upsampling, okay? Colors will pop a little bit better with this chroma upsampling with a 444. Here, let's, let's pause it here. Let's pause it. Okay, I'm going to pause it here, and I'm going to switch it back to, hold on. I'm going to switch it back to automatic. And look, when I switch it back to automatic. Now, I do notice the color, it's not that vivid. 
uh, as, as it was. It's a, it's, a, it's a bit bleak. You guys can see, but it's a bit bleak. And here, you'll see it's an 8-bit now. So now we're getting an 8-bit chroma uh, upsampling for 444. Now, this is RGB 444. It's still a good RGB 444 chroma upsampling. But with the 12-bit uh, 444, that's the best uh, you're going to get out of this uh, Comcast Xfinity box. So we're going to switch back to hold on to source direct i always recommend source direct click source direct and here look what happened look at the resolution hold on to source direct and we're going to click uh info really quick let's return let's click the info now we got 12-bit chroma up sampling and here I click on it, and you will see just uh, so, have you ever been in It's just a better, better uh, color. Now you see more color on his neck. Uh, it's just, it's just better, guys. So what I'm trying to tell you with this video is, you don't have to do it this way, but if you have OPPO, if you have OPPO UDP203, why not connect your Comcast, Xfinity, or DirecTV, or whatever you have, and chroma up sample at that 8-bit source, to a 12-bit 444 RGB chroma up sampling. It's just gonna look better, guys. So, there you have it. Uh, this video, I know it's gonna be uh, copyrighted. Uh, there's gonna be some copyrights on there. I get it, I understand. But I'm not gonna monetize this video. This video will not be monetized. This video, uh, all the proceeds will go to Warner Brothers, Sony, Columbia Pictures, okay? What this video is to help you guys uh, with your cable box. Uh, I, I assume a lot of you have uh, Xfinity, Comcast, or if not, probably you have DirecTV or AT&T, one of those three. Anyway, there you have it, guys. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully this video uh, gives you some uh, idea and why you should definitely benefit from uh, doing it this way. So there you have it. Uh, make sure you guys check this out. Uh, connect your uh, cable box to this uh, Oppo UDP 203 and uh, try it out. Let me know what you think. I think you will see some results, better results, compressing it with a 12-bit instead of just the 8-bit. Even though I know that this is a 8-bit source, but still, this compression of 12-bit that's forcing it to 444 chroma up sampling is going to give you a, a little bit better color detail. Like you see those lights here on, on the car. Believe me, it's going to give you a little bit tiny better detail than as if you were to just regularly connect it to your TV directly. So try this out and let me know what you think.